So if you're new to Tinkercad, it can be really helpful to understand how the mouse interacts with Tinkercad and what all you can do using your little mouse. So let's go ahead and start a new project. So click Create and 3D Design. This will open up a new work plane for you. Now we're not actually creating a design that we plan on printing or doing anything with. We're just gonna put some shapes on here so that we can play around with the mouse and learn how it works. So let's go ahead and get started by coming over here to the side and you'll see a shapes options here, lots of different shapes. With your mouse, use the left mouse button, click it on that red box, move the mouse to the center and click again with that left mouse button. Now you'll have a red box on your work plane. Now you can see it has little white squares around it. If you click on one of those white squares and drag it, you can make your box bigger or smaller. If you click on that white box in the middle, you can make your box taller or shorter. So go ahead and play with your box and make it uh, whatever size that you want. If you click on the box itself and not on any of the little white squares, I can click and hold and I can drag that box to wherever I want to on the work plane. Now let's go ahead and add one more shape to the work plane. I'm gonna click the green triangle called the roof shape here, and I'll put it over here. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. Now on your mouse, find your scroll button, which is in the center, and then hover over the red box, your first shape, and move that scroll button back and forth so that you can see you zoom in or you zoom out. But notice if I hover with the mouse over the green triangle, it'll zoom in to the green triangle. So wherever you're holding that mouse is what it's going to zoom into when you use that scroll button. Now another trick you can use for zooming in is make sure you have an object selected that means I click on it with the left mouse button and then click F on the keyboard for focus and it focuses in on whatever thing that I have selected. So if I click on my green triangle, I can click F and it will focus in. So go ahead and practice zooming in, zooming out, focusing on your different items. Now, once you've played around with that, you might be wondering, how do I get it back to normal? Over here on the side is a little house icon. If I click on that, it'll take me back to the normal view so that I can see everything again. Now, another useful trick can be, I need to see the back side or the side of the shape that I have. So if I look at my mouse and find the right mouse button, if I click and hold that down and drag it around, I'll be able to see the shape from another side. So I can even drag it all the way around if I want to, but it allows me to see the shape from below or from the back. So as I'm designing, it can be important to see all sides of my design. So holding down the right mouse button will let me do that. So now take a moment, hold down that right mouse button and practice moving around on the screen so that you can see your designs from different angles. Now, one other thing that can be helpful, if I use the scroll button again, but this time instead of scrolling, I'm going to actually just push down the button. So I'm gonna push down the scroll button, hold it down and move my mouse around and that's gonna allow me to move it from side to side. So for example, if I were zoomed in on this triangle and I wanted to see the rectangle over here without zooming out, I can hold down that scroll button and then just move it over. 
That's what we call panning. So if you need to pan, then you hold down the scroll button and move it around to get it wherever you want on the screen. So now take a moment to practice panning with your mouse. And so those are some quick tips for using the mouse in Tinkercad. I'm gonna click here on the home button to go back to the beginning. So just to recap really quickly, left click allows me to select things and then to change them. Using the scroll button allows me to zoom in and out. Using the F button will allow me to focus on one item. Right clicking and dragging allows me to rotate around. And holding the scroll button allows me to pan and move something around on the screen.